Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And on today's episode, we are mounting a winch on Mongoose. So stay tuned, let's see it. All right, so today I stopped by Harbor Freight and got a Badlands Apex 12,000 pound winch and uh, synthetic rope. That's the key factor here because the synthetic rope is a little bit lighter uh, than the, just the steel cable. And so it's, a, it's less weight up front and it actually outperforms uh, the steel cable in safety. So the steel cable will actually snap and all that tension is flung to either sides of where the cable is attached to. And with the steel cable, when it breaks, or the synthetic cable, when it breaks, it basically just drops to the ground because there's so many fine little wires and uh, threads in it that it basically just drops exactly where it was at. And so no one's couldn't be injured and nothing's gonna hurt anyone by doing that like that. So that's why I went with the synthetic rope, even though it is a little more expensive. Uh, but that's, that's the only way I wanted to go if I did get a winch for anything. And so today we mounted the winch on Mongoose. All right, so here's the hook with the rope winch and then you gotta remove that just because and then this is the fair lead, I think is what it's called. And then 12,000 pounds. And this is what you control to be geared with power or uh, it unlocks the gear so you can free spool it out a lot quicker to the hooking point. And you can also access it up from the top right here See it says engaged. Uh, it says engage there. And then free spool on the other side. Uh, but yeah. And so this, uh, this kit actually comes with the available relocation of the electronics up here. So the electronics box right here, you can actually relocate to a different place if you don't have enough room to do that. And then this right here, let's see. So this right here is rubber and this right here is rubber and it just pops, pops right up like that. And it's got the wired remote connection right here and then the on off switch for wireless remote or non-wireless, uh, which is wired. But that pops back on in place like that. And so that's with that with the down below. Now here is the remote. And so you press and hold this for three seconds to turn the remote on. You see the light come on the wireless. And then if you have it wired in, it will automatically come on and uh, light up on the wired side. And then you have the go in and out. And this is just a waterproof rubber cover that's on here. Uh, so you can take that off if you don't like it or don't want it. But then there's the four pin connector for the wired kit, which is right here so that connects into the controller and then this connects directly into the winch uh, right right there connects it right there with this five pin connector and this also the, con the remote has a little magnet right there so you can just magnet it wherever you want and not have to accidentally drop it or lose it by 
misplacing it on the ground somewhere. And then up here, it's connected to the negative terminal over here and the positive terminal, you can kind of barely see it. But it also comes with this master uh, disconnect switch. So that was off and now it's, I just turned it on. So y'all should be able to now see it in action. So winch out. And winch in. But you gotta be careful because you don't want fingers or people getting in the way of the hook and the fair lead. And then also you gotta watch out for the windings back there so they don't bind up on each other and get caught. Um, but that's the one thing you wanna be careful of. Because if you do that, that could possibly do some damage to your cord itself. And so it could also get hung up and when you're trying to get some someone out or get yourself out of a sticky situation and you can't because the cord is all bound up and knotted up. So just be mindful of that. And also uh, you're supposed to wash the uh, wash it every if it gets muddy or dirty just so it, you can sustain or elongate the life of the synthetic rope but I don't think I'm going to have that issue because I don't really plan on using it all too often but yes I know it's a little rusty on the hitch it, uh, but it's okay um, but yeah what I want to do is find like a black one of these or like this gray and put it on here instead of this like this chrome because I don't have anything chrome other than the Ford badge and part of the reflective part of the headlights. That's the only thing that's like chrome and shiny. But other than that, I like it. I like the colors. I like the dark gray, the black. I don't know. I don't like the silver necessarily, but I mean, it's, it is what it is. But yeah. All right. So now we got done with the walkthrough of the winch. I am going to show you all some of the accessories that I got for this winch and to keep in the truck, just in case I have to use them at any point. So let's go see them. Okay, so here are some of the accessories I got for it. So first one is I got this Badlands Apex, whatever, aluminum winch shackle mount. Uh, I just got it just in case I needed to have it. And then next I got this forged snatch block. Because when you have a winch, you're going to need a snatch block. You, or you never know when you're going to need it. And I got a three quarter inch shackle just to have just in case I needed to shackle something up. And then I also got this uh, because I was like, I don't know if it comes with a hook or not, uh, but I was pretty sure it did. But I like this one. And I think this one's black instead of gray, so I actually might put this one on it instead. Can't really tell with the plastic, but I'll open it up and see if I uh, like it better or not. But yeah. That's uh that's everything. So hope you all enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.